Good morning, Grace Life. Today I want to talk about leaning on and turning to God. Many times we try to prove ourselves to God and also to others, prove that we can do things on our own and do them well. As I watch our two-year-old son, Wyatt, grow, he is constantly testing the waters. He likes to try to do things that he is not capable of doing on his own. He needs my help or his dad's help so that he doesn't hurt himself. I have said countless times to Wyatt, why would you try to do that on your own? Oftentimes, I think this is how God sees us. Why are we trying to operate without him? The truth is, you and I don't have anything to prove. Many times we try to do things on our own strength when what God really wants us to do is to turn to him. As we pursue God, my prayer is that we would turn to him every day for everything. Psalms 46.1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. He longs for us to lean and to trust in him. We are not capable of doing anything on our own. He is our refuge. He is our help. When we experience hardships, which we will, we must lean on him and he will carry us through whatever comes our way. Scripture says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I want to leave you with three ways that you can start leaning and trusting in him more. The first is to hide his word in your heart. Some, Psalms 119 says, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. We must look to his word for encouragement and strength. The second way that we can lean and trust in him is to cast our cares on him in prayer. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, casting all your cares on him for he cares about you. And lastly, we must learn to trust in him completely, even when we don't see or understand what's going on around us. Proverbs 3 and 5 through 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. As we move forward with this time of consecration, let's make a conscious effort to lean and to trust in God.